Lex, thank you. New information now after Republican delegate Rick Morris was charged with assaulting his wife and a child two weeks ago. Well, now he's claiming his wife assaulted him. Ten on your side, Maria Elena Belores has the criminal complaint that Morris filed against his wife, and she joins us now from the newsroom. Maria Elena? Well, the charges against Republican delegate Rick Morris came from a police investigation. They say Morris used excessive physical force against his stepson, including using a belt and a wooden spoon as punishment. They also say he assaulted his wife. But now we've learned that he claims he's also a victim. It's been two weeks since delegate Rick Morris learned he would be facing felony counts of child endangerment and misdemeanor charges of domestic assault. Earlier this week, he filed charges against his wife, claiming she assaulted him. His lawyer tells 10 on your side that these charges will be dealt with separately from his trial. The decision was ultimately made that um, charges needed, needed to be brought for the conduct um, that his wife engaged in um, on at least three different occasions over the last I guess it's been about nine months or so. In the complaints, which Morris filed at a magistrate's office, he writes about three times when the alleged abuse took place. In December 2015, February 2016, and August 2016. Morris writes that he and his wife would get into verbal arguments, and then she would become more physical, saying in all three instances that she went into a screaming rage. In one instance, he says she grabbed him by the neck and the arm to restrain him. He also says she punched him in the eye and scratched his neck after he says he made a derogatory comment about her mental state. Morris says in the complaints that he told his wife he wanted a divorce on September 18th. He was arrested two days later. His attorney says these new complaints will not affect his upcoming trial. We will prepare our defense separate and apart from the fact that she has been charged as well. Now there may be some facts that overlap. There may be some um, information that we use in his defense. Republican lawmakers have called for Morris's resignation, but he has denied that all of the claims of the abuse are false, saying the allegations are distortions, misrepresentations, and lies. His trial will take place in December. I'm Marilana Belores, 10 on your side.